tracking a truly incredible story of survival. The Klein family became stranded last week on their way to the Grand Canyon. Karen Klein then left her husband and 10-year-old son to begin a long and dangerous journey in search of help. John Blackstone has their harrowing story of surviving freezing temperatures and treacherous conditions. Mentally, it, it's still all sort of sinking in as far as the, the scope of the whole ordeal. Her husband, Eric, by her side, 46-year-old Karen Klein, says it all began last Thursday afternoon. The family of three was on vacation from Pennsylvania, making their first trip to the Grand Canyon. So we set out that morning not realizing what lay ahead, that the major roads were closed and impassable. They say their GPS put them on an alternate route that seemed promising. The road was paved and then it became a little more harried. We were thinking, well, this must take us to the North Rim. But unfortunately, that did not happen as the car got stuck in the, stuck in the mud. It was decided that Karen, a fitness enthusiast trained in survival techniques, would go for help. It was pretty simple. Karen is our problem solver, and she's got experience. She's super intelligent. But soon, Eric started to worry. It really didn't feel like there was a point of no return until it started to snow. It was nighttime, and Karen was not in the car any longer. Karen headed south, walking for 11 hours until she found an evergreen tree for shelter. I was afraid to fall asleep because I, in my mind, if, one, if you fall asleep, you freeze to death. At daylight, she saw a sign for the Grand Canyon Visitor Center and kept hiking through deep snow. My shoe had filled up with snow and I couldn't put my shoe back on, so I was walking in my sock and having to physically lift my left leg to pull it forward. After walking nearly 26 miles, she eventually sought refuge in an empty cabin near the Grand Canyon's north rim. Even as she ate twigs and drank melted snow to stay alive, Karen says one thing kept her going. I just kept thinking, I have to do this for my son. I have to do this for my husband. Meanwhile, Eric says their son never lost hope. He thought she just was on an adventure trying to figure this out to save us. So in his mind, she was, you know, doing what she needed to do to protect us. By Friday morning, with no sign of his wife, Eric hiked to higher ground until he could call for help on his cell phone. That set off a massive search and rescue effort, locating Karen more than 36 hours after the ordeal began. Oh, it was uh, just incredible, just awesome. I mean, it certainly... Your priorities definitely heighten, you know, when that's all you're thinking of is the safety of your family. It's the, the best thing that could ever happen. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone. John, thank you. The entire family did receive medical attention after the rescue. Karen Klein suffered frostbite to her feet. Her husband and their son were also treated and released from the hospital. Glad that ended. Well yeah, well. a remarkable story. Uh, you, you were saying earlier, never trust GPS. Mm -hmm. I, I've become one of these survivalist dudes. Whenever I travel, even if it's to the beach, in my car, I've got fire starters, compasses, like all sorts of things. That's your to, army training. That is my right. army training. <laughs> and if it doesn't out. work out, Margaret, you're walking. Yeah. <laughs>